Mr. Sean. Why don't you call him by his name, if that's his name? Anyway, <laughs> that man had all these designer clothes on. All, right. all the girls wanted them, but he walked directly up to me. Oh. They were E-V-I-L, evil. I loved it. <laughs> well, them fools outside is E-V-I-L, evil, too. But you ain't gonna go to party now. What was I supposed to do, Ace? He kept asking me to dance and to buy me a drink. But you don't drink. I know. We're drinking you out. I told him I don't drink. But he kept begging me, so I just told him to buy me one drink. Then he kept begging me for my number. Uh, you ain't got no phone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told him that too. He was so persistent, I just gave him my address. Oh, my girl. It must have been the alcohol. <laughs> Plus the jealous look on all those dragons. I don't know why you think you're so fabulous. <laughs> you live in an abandoned basement of a crap house. It's an abandoned Victorian. You only pray at this ugly color pink. Oh, it's red hot pussy. Ooh, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what pussy looks like. <laughs> With all his money, expensive taste, and so-called good looks, he ain't going to be taking you nowhere fast. How dark was that club? How many drinks he had? That's why he parked his car around the corner and snuck his ass up in here. You fooling yourself. He going to be just like any other what you call trade that sneaks up in here in the middle of the night and then laughs at you behind your back. Yeah. Piece of trade like you. I ain't no piece of trade. I'm a grown ass man. And the best thing you ever had. I just hope you realize it before it's too late. Cut that damn light out, Sweet girl, read. 